What's going on, everybody? So today I have some more info about the new events coming for Christmas, as well as a bunch of new and free rewards that uh, arguably, in my opinion, are the absolute best things you can ever receive from an event. Now, uh, I'm going to be running some just faction wars back here. I, I repeat it over and over again because I fail it. I have like a 30% win rate, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't consume your keys. So we'll just have that in the background while we talk about this because there's a lot of kind of Q&A that they, they went through with us as content creators, but they haven't uh, released it to the public. Now, what this means is that I can't show you the actual Q&A, but I can give you guys a, kind of the summary here. So let's go through all of it. There's quite a few points here and I'll just talk about um, each point that I think is particularly important for you guys. First off, we have the XP potions are the real problem. Would you like to add a double XP potion event? This was a question that was answered towards the developers um, and they said, We've gotten a lot of feedback and suggestions about XP potions. The good news is apparently they're going to add some dungeon bounty monthly quests. So it looks like uh, some sort of dungeon farming. You could probably do it while you're doing your other events. Um, and it's going to be a monthly quest. Okay. It's going to bring you a ton of XP potions and you'll be able to get them next month as well as Christmas events are the highlight of the whole year. Tons of potions will be easy to gain. So one, we'll have a bunch of potion income looks like over the next month. And then on top of that, we're going to have monthly quest going forward, um, beginning December, it looks like, and each one of those monthly quests is going to give us another a bunch of XP potions. Now, I'll just do a couple of comments here on this question and answer here. Monthly quests that give you potions, and if they coincide with a bunch of events that you're already farming for your mythic shards for the events, um, this could be a really, really amazing thing because realistically, most of us, um, if you are got, if you want to prioritize farming a bunch of fodder and upgrading your characters, you're going to be in the Dragon Cliff event. So you don't really want to farm more XP potions in another area. You just want to kind of have them passively come to you. And this is a great solution to that if it works as it's saying it will. Now, it depends on how many potions it actually brings. Uh, but of course, we will have to see that. I'm just going to have to trust what they say here. And it looks like we will have a lot of XP potions coming to us. So that's a good thing. Happy about that. Second thing is, are you going to rework some useless heroes? Uh, don't be scared about changing them too much. People are wanting for that or waiting for that. It could change the current meta. And uh, some examples would be Vera, uh, Carrie, Karid, Zach Zulu, and a lot of other heroes. They said that a development team takes the hero adjustment very seriously and to decide whether or not to adjust the heroes, we must observe the data um, and opinions of all players. And it seems that previous adjustment of bleeding and poison were successful. And I would say that uh, although the bleed buffs were kind of mediocre, the poison buffs were quite strong and the reworks that they decided to do were actually quite solid. Like the Nid rolled one, I think it was a really, really good one and has made him one of the strongest characters uh, in the game, to be honest, or one of the top at least 20 top 30 tech characters uh, outside of mythics of course so looks like they are interested in this and they're going to share the result as soon as possible and uh yeah i'm i'm happy for that i will mention that although i think that the bleed buffs were a little underwhelming they are i think bleeds are already strong and they were already strong so the bleed buffs to me didn't have to be super big Poison buffs, on the other hand, felt like they did have to be a little bit stronger because poisons in uh based on you know you have to have you can't really scale up the poisons if you scale more poisons, right? You have to have just high attack and things like that. So I like the adjustments overall, and I'm happy that they're doing it. Then we have, is it possible to get a mythic conversion stone for free? Now, they said yes, um, and they said the quest will be not too difficult to complete to acquire this, which means that you could convert your mythic character, as far as I understand this, to a different mythic character. But it's kind of like a regression potion, meaning you can only do it once or as many times as you have these stones. So that is super cool. Those of you that might have started with a mythic, let's say you started with Luna um, and you want to get through three-star campaign, but you find that, hey, Luna's really not doing much for me in terms of progressing, I don't know, the specific Tower of Mark or this specific faction that I would rather go for, then you could turn it into a different mythic. That's super, super cool. So I love that feature and I'm, hoping, I'm happy that it's going to be coming to the game soon. Then we have equalize the difficulty of reaching stages in all voyage type events. Um, this one is kind of just a whale question. Um, I mean, it, it's not really a huge deal in my opinion. I guess they all want everyone to get that one mythic shard that you can acquire on like uh, level four, I think, for all these events. Cool. I, I hope um, that, uh, <laughs> that, that that's the case. But if you're free to play or low spender, you don't really care about these events, to be honest. They're just kind of like, okay, here's a free hundred energy. Here's one legendary potion. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> um, any information about the guild gameplay or guild arena, things like that. 
they said um, that they're interested in making it so that we can borrow heroes from guild members to participate in the new dungeon and it'll be released soon so looks like there's going to be a new dungeon i don't know if it's going to be specifically guild oriented meaning like it's a group dungeon you're trying to progress it where you can borrow other guild characters or if it's just a new dungeon outside of that and you could borrow guild characters i'm not sure um the idea of borrowing characters from a guild member but only for a specific dungeon seems awkward for me so i'm not sure how that's going to roll out but i'm excited nonetheless i like new dungeons i like being able to borrow characters in general i think that's a fun mechanic so excited to see where this goes what about monthly quests um they said that we're thrilled to announce that the monthly quest which can which countless players have been expecting for a long time will be online next week so apparently this is a different question here um but if they're talking about the dungeon bounty monthly quest that they went over earlier on in the q a and then this is what it's talking about looks like next week so as of this video dropping you can expect it in about six uh days or so after this video as early as says next week seven days from now it literally dropped this news drop today so um hopefully we get something cool there uh i'm excited to see these monthly quests and i'll go over them as they drop i like their other quests that they added people were complaining about it but i feel like the, the new achievement quest and all that type of stuff um it's literally free summons i've gotten a couple supreme shards i've gotten a, a legendary scroll i've gotten several excellent shards and i've gotten a couple epic scrolls like that's just free stuff that they added to the game um doesn't matter how difficult the other quests are later on in the, the quests but if they're giving us free stuff they're giving us free stuff i'm happy about it then we have the most important things at the bottom here these are the two most important things in my opinion first off i'm gonna go over the pc version we're looking forward to play i am our pc version when can we try it and they said before we launch it we're going to need to evaluate the impact of the game experience on all players um hoping to bring everyone the best experience the pc version comes with a lot of benefits bigger screen etc etc all this other stuff that comes with pc um and then it'll be released in the middle of december guys this is the first game i've played out of the last two years besides like raid shadow legends that's releasing its own pc client this is very very good news for a lot of things one it'll probably expand the player base because people don't like to play on blue stacks they don't like to play on their mobile devices but they may like gotcha games at large they want to play on their pc um i know i prefer to play on pc so this may have me playing on that pc client however i like blue stacks for other reasons um you know maybe i should go get an affiliate link with blue stacks because i do think blue stacks has some advantages that uh, the pc client their pc client rather won't have so that is pretty cool but um this is really really big news for the overall i guess you could say to me, this indicates a very high quality, high effort development team if they're releasing a PC client for this game. So I'm very excited about that. Now for the most important event and what you're all here for because of the title. Um, this is let us know the details of the Christmas event. So this is going to be very similar to what we've seen in the past, but the rewards are going to be very, very good. Think of the Halloween event and then I'll compare the two. First off. Extremely popular. Christmas is extremely popular all over the, all over the world. Um, thus, how can we ignore this festival? So they said a strong four-star hero. So it looks like a new four-star hero, similar to how Seal was added. Seal seemed pretty, you know, niche to like pretty mediocre. So hopefully they add something that might be a little bit better. If they say strong, I'm expecting a little bit better than Seal, to be honest. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Um, a limited avatar and plenty of diamonds will be claimed for the three-day sign-in event. You would expect like 600 diamonds, I believe, is what we got last time, and then a four-star character. Cool, not bad. Then we have a Christmas-themed dungeon can provide you with massive rewards, such as Supreme XP potions and a legendary dragon eye. Think of this. When they say dungeon, they don't mean traditional dungeon. I thought they were going to have a traditional dungeon. Remember when they said the Halloween event, they're like, people are going to have a dungeon? It was more of like a space temple. And uh, that's way closer to what I would say. You can expect probably another space temple. Now, if we were to compare how difficult it was to get the legendary dragon eye then, and it is now, if you haven't been playing for about a month or so, you probably won't be able to get the legendary dragon eye at the end. So keep that in mind. If you guys are interested in picking this up and basically taking advantage of all the rewards, be sure you start grinding the game now because you probably won't be able to get it if you aren't prepared for it. That's huge to note. Then we also have Christmas limited heroes are also indispensable. So guess who they are? Um, they didn't say who they are, but they said, yes, I imagine they're going to do something similar to like Little Jack where they have these winter themed heroes and we'll see how good they are. Little Jack um, was OK. I'm not a huge fan of him, but he does have his you know uses and I think he could be OK. So overall, we'll have to see what those characters are. And then lastly, we have the 
Christmas limited challenge is waiting for you. Okay, not sure what that is, but uh, we'll have to see what that is. Again, I'm not sure on some of the language they choose to use. Uh, they're not, usually they have a couple of translation issues here and there. Um, it seems like some typos and things like that. So we'll have to see what they mean by all these limited challenges, the dungeons, if the dungeon actually means a dungeon or if it means similar to what they did at the Halloween event, which is like a space temple. We'll see what the limited challenge is all about. But overall, I absolutely love this event, guys. I like the fact that it's a this like space temple. You know, I, I think that's kind of fun. You know, most people um, will just want to get their rewards and leave. And I can understand that too, because I'm a little bit like that. But you have to say like, okay, they're trying to do something fun and engaging for the events. And some people like the space temples. They're puzzles. Um, they're more difficult. And they're kind of fun pieces of concept for that reason. And if I wasn't playing a bunch of games and I just wanted to, you know, progress my account, I might have enjoyed it more. So I'm going to give them that, uh, that for them, as well as the rewards. To me, I don't care what the game mode is like if it's terrible in terms of rewards. But giving us a Legend Dragon Eye or a Legendary Dragon Eye completely throws that out of the window because that is, in my opinion, the absolute best reward that you could possibly get from an event. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to have a video coming out soon, um, probably as we get closer to the release of these Christmas events, uh, talking about what I will be using the Dragon Eye because you saw my previous one that I used. I ended up using it on Hazania. And uh, right now I have a Hazania A1 and I have a Melia A2 or exclusive 2. And then I have a couple other characters that I could potentially use it on. Like I could put it on Hazania. I could put it on Melia to get extra HP burning damage. There's quite a few options that I could go for. Who knows? Maybe I'll summon Karen uh, or Timmy, and maybe I'll use it on Timmy to get the exclusive one, so I can progress Tower of Mark Force uh, or Red Mark here. So there's a, lot, a couple of options that I have, uh, but I'll give you guys a full rundown soon. So I know that was a lot of information, and I know I can't really show it on screen to you guys. Um, I'm sorry, they don't let us do it. I uh, I really wish they would change that because, I mean, I'm literally telling it all to you. So I don't know why they didn't just let us show it on screen. Very strange to me, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and uh, hopefully you guys are excited about the Christmas events. Again, I think that a real good hallmark of a decent mobile game is that the rewards for the events are good, and they encourage you to log on. And let's let it be known, Christmas and the Halloween events, you are going to log on at any time. It better be during those times, because a legendary Dragon Knight is irreplaceable. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.